Hey you guys, today we're going to be looking at the demo for the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Let's look at Cloud's combat first. Cloud has two modes for his combat, Operator Mode and Punisher Mode. Operator Mode is your base mode and is geared toward the balanced playstyle. You can guard against attacks, dodge roll, and move pretty easily during combat while in this mode. Your combo is a diagonal strike downward followed by a strong slice horizontally. Cloud then slams his sword down on the ground with an overhead slice. He drags his sword along the ground and swings upwards for his next attack. This throws enemies into the air. His last strike shows him crouching low and spinning before lifting his sword and slicing at the enemy. This can launch enemies backwards. You can really see the impact and weight that these attacks have. Alongside your normal combo, Cloud also has a dashing strike as well as an AoE attack. If you are far away from the enemy you are locked onto, Cloud will fly towards the enemy to attack. This has incredible range and transitions straight into the combo if you continue attacking. Your AoE attack can be used at any point during your combo by holding square. This shows Cloud twisting and doing a low slash. Cloud slashes all the way around himself standing up as he twists. A bluish slash effect appears after the initial slice as he stands back up. You can actually see Cloud's hand glow with this blue light before the attack triggers. Alongside this combo, you also have an aerial combo. This is the three hit combo starting with a rising slash, followed by a horizontal one, and ending with Cloud twisting before doing a flipping slash. Now let's look at Punisher mode. This is a mode all about offensive attacks. Guarding this mode will only set you up for a counter attack against physical strikes. If you are shot at though, you will take damage like normal. Dodging will revert you back into operator mode, and movement is pretty slow while in this mode. The combo while in Punisher mode shows the same blue energy we saw with the AoE attack from operator mode. This stays near the tip of Cloud's sword during these attacks, and a blue slash effect can be seen spawning behind his strikes. Cloud begins the combo by bringing the sword around his head before lowering it and slicing upwards. He switches sides and does another upward slash, followed by a third slash from the other side. He uses the momentum from this third slash though to spin and do a downward strike before spinning again and doing another strike downwards. After this attack, Cloud takes a step forward and quickly slashes back in the other direction before ending the combo with a strong slice downwards. Like the other mode, there are attacks that trigger when you are far away from an enemy and when you hold square. When you are far away from an enemy, Cloud will roll forward and push off the ground, springing into the air. He will twist in the air and as he comes down to the ground, he will slice in the enemy. If you keep attacking after this, Cloud will jump to the end of the attack, skipping over the initial first two slashes. If you hold square, Cloud will do a thrust into the ground. The same blue effect as in operator mode will appear when you trigger the attack. After triggering it, though, a burst of red energy will appear around his hand. Red energy can also be seen around the sword, as well as Cloud during this attack. This will trigger a status effect that increases damage done for a short amount of time. If you are in this mode, you will not be able to attack airborne enemies. When switching back to operator mode, Cloud will spin and slash outwards. Alongside holding the guard button to counter in Punisher mode, you can also counter while going into Punisher mode. If you switch modes as an enemy is doing a physical attack, you will counter. The counter is the same as when you are guarding and shows Cloud parrying with his blade before spinning around and slashing at the enemy. The last thing I'll note about the combat is that you can switch from Punisher mode to Operator mode right after triggering the status effect to break out of the animation and continue attacking. Your abilities and spells do not change with your modes. You have two abilities with Cloud, Braver and Focus Thrust. Braver is actually your first limit in the original game. This shows Cloud jumping into the air and flipping before slamming his sword downwards. A beam of light shoots upwards from the impact. Focus Thrust is simply a quick thrust forward with a red effect following your thrust. The only spell that Cloud currently has is Fire. We can see this is the only materia equipped in his Buster Sword. An aura appears around him before he casts a small aura of fire from his free hand. When using a potion, green orbs appear around you as well as strands of green light. When using an ether, the same effects appear though these are red instead of green. Cloud's initial limit is his iconic cross slash. And I think that is it for Cloud, let's look at Barret. Barret does not have too much going on with his combat. You can hold square to fire off a string of shots, ending with a strong shot. You can also end the combo whenever you want to by letting go of square. Your special attack is overcharge. This shows Barret's gun glowing red before he shoots off 5 shots. The last shot is stronger than the first 4 and flames appear around the gun after his shot. After this your meter will begin to charge slowly though you can press triangle to charge it more quickly. Barret will throw his arm downwards to charge up his gun. You can actually hit charge right at the end of a full combo to cut back on the animation. Barret also has a dodge and guard. The guard shows him holding his gun in front of himself. You can actually see his material equipped here on the gun. Barret has two abilities, Steel Skin and Focus Shot. Steel Skin reduces damage and makes it harder for Barret to stagger. Focus Shot shows Barret charging up energy around his gun before shooting a single shot forward. Blue Fire shoots out of the gun when this is shot out. This increases stagger on the enemy. This uses up all the ATB bars that you have, so it's best to use this when you only have one left. Alongside these abilities, Barret has two spells, Cure and Thunder. Thunder is guaranteed to hit the enemy and shows electricity around Barret's hand as he casts it. Cure shows Barret charging a bit before he raises his hand above his head. A green effect can be seen here for a second. The heal effect from Cure is the same as the effect from using a potion. If you set Barret to leader from the options menu, you automatically switch to him at the start of any battle. Barret's limit is called firing the hole and shows him charging up a giant orb of energy that he fires at the enemy. 
This is the same attack as the big shot limit from the original game, which is Beerit's first limit. And I think that is all I have for you guys today. I love this demo and I cannot wait for the full game to release. There is so much detail packed into this game, it's insane. I will definitely be doing more breakdowns in the remake in the future, so be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. I also cover Kingdom Hearts and Persona 5, so if that interests you, check out some playlists on the channel. Anyways, I'm pretty active on Twitch, YouTube, Discord, and Twitter, so be sure to follow the links down in the description below to stay connected. If you enjoyed this, click the cards on screen to watch some trailer breakdowns I've done on the remake. Subscribe or share this, and I'll see you in the next video.